How do you do? This is Faye Ellington once again. This is another in my COVID-19 Chronicle series. And this one is very special. This is for all the people who work on the front line, wherever you are in the world, because COVID-19 has affected every country, uh, every society is affected. So I am dedicating this one to those persons who work on the front line, but in particular, people from the Caribbean, mm-hmm, and specifically people from Jamaica. And I thought, what can I do to bring back some memories for you? Because I have been told that some of you love the feel of what it is in Jamaica, what it feel like and what it used to be like. And I thought, all right, let me share some stuff with you. I brought out this, mm, my home sweet home lamp, you see it? Yeah, man, complete with cursing. I have them, man. I have two in my yard. I know no kitchen bitch though. You remember kitchen bitch? You know, same thing I use a called tin and lamp. So I thought I would share that with you. You have to use um, newspaper and clean that or you clip the wick and all them kind of something. And then I wondered what else could I do? And I thought, you know something? Make a remind them of the coconut brush. Oh yes, I just use it I can clean floor. And then you have to have your beeswax enough you know, to rub on the brush. Mm, right? And then you get down upon your knee. And then the, the floor would have straw dye. Or you go out woodland and you check the logwood. And you boil it and you get the nice uh, stain. And you stain the board and you get down. No, I don't know how many of you know this, you know. But I'm going to sing this floor cleaning song for you. Morning, Mr. Potter. Morning to you, sir. I come to lodge a complain to you now, sir. Me plant a piece of red, a piece of red. Sally Land, Mary Jane and Pigeon come eat it out, sir. Come out of me yard, me never call you, yeah. Come out of me yard, me never call you yeah for the house rent money no don't pay for that are the man who are complaining you know and the one who I complain to you know so it's a back and talking argument of one you know and then we used to sing it as a round sometimes this edition especially for the people who are working in the front line where COVID-19 is concerned for every country in the world yeah, you have an awesome responsibility. I want to recognize you and thank you and ask you to keep protecting yourself and thank you for all you do for so many. So whether you are an ambulance driver or you are a porter or you're a registered nurse, as a matter of fact, I want to acknowledge some people in the Toronto area and just outside because they sent me a kind of indirect message. Registered nurses, registered practical nurses, and personal support workers. I want to just say, hey, thank you for all you do, wherever you are in the world, but these are special to the Toronto area. And we want to thank you for all that you do. When you go home, you know, you take off all of the clothes and you left them at the door, you push them in the washing machine and you spray up on your bed. Then you're going to go inside and make one cup of chocolate tea. Mm-hmm. You have to have in a milk cup, do them. Hi, tea, tea, cup, and I have up at Toronto. No, but I did. Find in a milk mug. Mm -hmm. And put the chocolate tea in there. You have chocolate out there with them. Make a country. Yes, and you beat up the chocolate in a mortar. Anyway, you remember them mug, yeah? When it ship, you know. You get a piece of cloth and you make a bong. And you draw the cloth through the hole. And then you get a piece of some soap cake soap and flour and make up one thing and your thing so nothing can leak out of that when you're done you understand so i just thought i'd bring back a taste of jamaica for the frontline workers caribbean and jamaica in particular I want to thank you for all you do and um as we go through I'll be here to support you in my own little way. Yeah, things are happening here in Jamaica. Um, we have our challenges with COVID-19 as well. And we are hoping that people will take it more seriously because some people, like anywhere else in the world, not taking it seriously. They're not keeping the distance of six feet. Some of them, some of them are. But we hope that, you know, more and more we'll understand the importance of just taking all the necessary precautions to wash them hands you know, and take the 20 seconds or whatever it is to wash the hands, wash the thumbs, etc. But look here, you don't know all of that already. Those of you who are working in the healthcare service as the frontliners, me thank you know. God bless you know. Walk good till next time. I am Faye Ellington with a COVID-19 Chronicle.